while talking to my nephew-in-law and his four-year-old son, uh, my nephew was saying, um, asking me if uh, I knew how to spin a coin with one hand because he was showing his son how to spin a coin, you know, like that, or well, better than that. I normally do it like this. And he was asking me if I knew how to spin one with one hand because he knows I'm a magician. But I didn't. But it's not hard to imagine. If you put the coin, hold it tight between your nail bed and your nail, like that, with the, actually with the first finger, like that, and then snap it with your middle finger and your thumb. It works. So it's not real hard. Spin a coin with one hand, and it's just as easy, sorta, to spin it with the other hand. It's not quite as easy to spin it with the other hand, but it gets there. And doing it with a slightly larger coin is a little bit easier. This is a Kennedy half dollar named after a famous American president, Kennedy. You probably knew that. You may not know who Kennedy was. It's John Kennedy. A lot of people don't know who he was. He was Ted Kennedy's younger brother. And he had an older brother, jo uh, Joe Kennedy. And he had a middle brother, Harpo Kennedy. No, anyway, that's spinning a coin with one hand. So, while further goofing around with this, which is my want, I thought if you put it between these two fingers, the coin, and then snapped the middle finger, just like you were flicking something, what would happen? Probably you'd knock it off the table. But maybe not. It's kind of cool. I like it. Maybe too much. See so what happens with a larger coin? It makes bigger noise. So, just clicking it like that seems to be the ticket. That's spinning a coin with one hand. It's, it's heads. What do you say? <laughs>